Hello once again and welcome to chemistry class. If you come late to this class, you'll be flogged. All right. And of course, we are going to continue our study on rates of reactions. So in the previous episode, we looked at factors that affect the rate of reactions. And if you have not watched it, that is the first part of what of the class. Today is the conclu concluding part of the factors that affect the rate of reactions. So in this class, I'm going to look at the effect of temperature, the effect of catalyst, and the effect of light. All right. So please know that this video tutorial is brought to you by the O3 School Jump app. It is all you need to succeed in your exam. It has all the past questions you need for your exam. And of course, wonderful features, even lecture notes. All right. And on the app, through the classroom feature, we have an AI power tutor. Uh, what guides you as you try to decipher answer to questions and also there are lecture notes in the classroom future wonderful for all subjects yeah then of course uh, we have what uh, the question search feature where we can search for question by topic and then you'll be able to what, see question that jamba set under a particular topic you'll be able to answer them to gain more confidence also the utme challenge the challenge is conducted for all students writing jam for this year so you participate with your fellow jam bites you win prizes and of course we we'll, we'll do this challenge every saturday till one week to your jam exam that means every saturday you will partake in a mock jam exam and then what you compete with other people you will see your score at the end of the at the end of the uh, competition and then of course you're able to what to to see how Jam sets this question, able to build your confidence in preparation for the main Jam exam. Please download this app immediately, activate it, and start using it immediately. It is all you need. Trust me when I say so. All right. In case you want to activate, just send a message on WhatsApp on this number 0912151246. Okay. Uh, also, the app is available for your computer versions in case you want to practice without distraction right you can message this number on whatsapp and we'll send you a link to download it for your computer all right activation is just three thousand naira. do not be stingy do not be selfish to yourself all right it's better for you to pay three thousand naira than for you to rely jump okay or it is better for you to pay three thousand naira, right than for you to have a low score in jump all right so please all the chances you have to work to pass your exam exploit all of them okay so now that is that let's go to factors that affect the rate of reactions and of course we are looking at uh the second part the concluding part one i'm going to look at effects of temperature okay so effect of temperature so in the previous episode we're trying to throw some hints right about our temperature and of course know that at high temperatures at high temperatures we're discussing factors that affect rate of reactions please so at high water temperatures what happens you see that what molecules in the reaction acquire what kinetic energy they begin to acquire kinetic energy they acquire kinetic the one we call ke right so at high temperature high temperature at high temperature right molecules in a reaction acquire kinetic what energy and because they have acquired kinetic energy we know what kinetic energy is kinetic energy is the energy that is possessed by a body due to what motion right so now because those particles those molecules in that reactions have acquired what kinetic energy that means that what they will move faster the molecules will move faster that means what they will move faster one move faster that is one then again it also means that they will collide they will collide more frequently they will collide more what frequently and let me tell you one thing before reactants become products right there's, a, there's something we call activation energy it is that energy it is that it is it, it is the smallest what is the, it is the smallest amount of energy that must be what that must be reached right before what the chemical reaction can work can take place we are going to talk about it in the next uh in the next topic we're talking about electrolysis i'm going to talk about what uh, or chemical energetics i'm going to talk about what activation energy they just know that before reaction reactant become product the most what first of all what overcome what a barrier the most of all what to reach what that activation what energy the most of all get what energy up to what either equal to or greater than that activation energy before the reactants can be converted into products okay so now because they are colliding more frequently and because they are moving faster right you see that what they will now possess energy that is either equal to that's either equal to or greater or greater than what than the activation energy 
and because what they have done what acquired their energy you see that what that the reaction rate reward we increase okay the reaction rate was we increase so let me go over this again effect of temperature like i said at high temperature right molecules in a reaction molecules in a reaction acquire kinetic energy as a result they move faster and they collide more frequently and because they're moving faster and colliding more frequently you see that was they now possess an energy that is either equal to or greater than the activation was energy this results to what increase in the rate of reaction all right so i'm going to see uh, uh another what uh, another factor that affects the rate of reaction now and that will be the effect of catalyst the effect of catalyst i entered a bit but of course let us not do it well this time effect of catalyst all right so what does the catalyst do a catalyst alters the rate of what of a reaction a catalyst alters the rate of a reaction all right and of course we have two types of catalysts we have a positive catalyst all right we have what negative catalyst all right so what does a positive catalyst do a positive catalyst will increase the rate of what of a chemical or of what of a re of the rate of a reaction rather right the positive catalyst will increase the rate of what of a reaction while the negative catalyst will what decrease or reduce the rate of what of a reaction right because the catalyst is supposed to what propel supposed to what to propel a reaction to what to occur fast all right it's supposed to overcome what energy barrier right the catalyst is supposed to use to be used to overcome an energy barrier so if a positive catalyst is overcoming that means the rate of the reaction will what will increase but because a negative catalyst is doing the opposite the rate of the reaction what will reduce so you must take note and understand how effect of catalyst affects the world the rate of what of reaction so thirdly uh, of course i will hint again because i said in the last episode in case you do not watch it in case you do not watch it go back and watch it and i said that what 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 improves the effectiveness of what of catalyst is large surface area large surface area improves what the effectiveness of what of catalyst large surface area all right so take note of that so now the 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 greater the surface area right the greater the rate of what of what of a reaction right the greater the surface area of the catalyst rather the larger or the greater the surface area of the catalyst the greater the rate of what of the reaction also put that as a pointer at the back of your mind then totally when i talk about the effect of light which is the last one totally talk about what effect of light all right light can influence the rate of what of reactions light can influence the rate of what of chemical reaction and these reactions that are, that can be influenced by light are called photochemical reactions and if you have been following our episode episode by episode if you are a devoted student of o2d school if you are an o2d school light right you should know that we have dealt what with photochemical reactions when we talk about types of reactions we dedicated a full episode to what to photochemical reactions so we listed a whole number of what of photochemical reactions there examples right so examples of photochemical reaction of course would be one reaction between maintain and chlorine all right reaction between what maintain and chlorine is a what is a photochemical what reaction all right we won't talk about we won't, we won't get to organic chemistry we're going to what talk about it also all right so of course another reaction another example is a reaction between hydrogen and chlorine it's another word, photochemical reaction all right the reaction between hydrogen and chlorine is very very slow in dim light in dim light the reaction is very slow the reaction between hydrogen and chlorine is very slow in dim light they're very fast they're very fast in fact very explosive in bright light explosive in in bright light right it is slow 
in dim light but explosive in bright light all right so another example of a photochemical reaction will be the composition of hydrogen peroxide all right number three i'm gonna put it here the composition of hydrogen peroxide is another what example of what of a photochemical reaction there are so many examples we listed in one episode please look for the episode watch it game more understanding about photochemical reaction now i'm going to what, see answer one or two questions from the old school jam app to buttress what why you should what, even get the app also all right so let's see uh, a question from the old school jam app all right so they say uh, this is a question 2006 question number seven is being displayed on the screen right now they say the efficiency of a solid catalyst to increase reaction rates depends on its the efficiency of a solid catalyst to increase reaction rate depends on remember i've told you i told you that was that a catalyst right to increase the efficiency of what of catalyst you need to what definitely will have what large surface area so we say large surface area improves or increases the efficiency of what of catalyst and that's why we listed an example in the previous episode where we said that that is why iron is usually finely divided when it is used as what as catalyst so that's you know, a question in that regard now they say a surface area the efficiency of a solid catalyst to increase reaction rate depends on a surface area b solubility it's not solubility c concentration is not concentration d quantity is not quantity the correct answer there is what is surface area it hugely what it hugely depends on the surface area as you can see explanation is given for the answer they say if it were to be liquid catalyst then we'll be talking about concentration right but because we're talking about a solid catalyst then we're talking about what surface area if you say liquid catalyst we'll be talking about what concentration so you have to what pay heed pay heed to the question understand what the question is asking of you all right then Another question says, um, uh, look for it. Okay, they said, um, which among these factors is responsible for an increase in the rate of a reaction on heating? On heating. So that's, that's, that, that should border on effect of temperature. Okay, they say, which of the following, uh, which of these factors is responsible for an increase in the rate of a reaction on heating? They say, A, increase in enthalpy, not, not at all. B, decrease in activation energy. Not at all. C, increase in collusion rate. All right. Then D, they say increase in reactant concentration. Of course, that would definitely be what increase in collusion rate because at high temperature, when you increase temperature, right, you see that what molecules acquire more kinetic energy, as we have said earlier. And because they acquire more kinetic energy, they move faster and then they collide more frequently. They collide more frequently. So we have stated that before. So you see, <laughs> these are any episode is an exam episode. So we do not just break these classes for you because we want to break them. We want to break them it's because we know that what you need to what easily assimilate and understand, All right? So please share this video, like this video, give the video a like so that other vid other student can easily was uh, find this video. Uh, subscribe to this channel. Subscription is totally free. Just click on that red subscribe button below this video and do not forget to share this video. Share to your friends. Share it everywhere. All right. Let everybody keep learning. And my name is Oula Bitangod, aka Master T. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.